Yo, Comedy Lounge, what's up, man? So, listen, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm doing this. I really don't usually do this, but I'm gonna tell you a little story of what happened this morning. I'm with my daughter at the park, and it's a beautiful day out. And uh, man, people are crazy in this world. Pure comedy. But anyway, let me get into this story. So I'm walking. I'm walking with my daughter to the park, right? And this caravan pulls up alongside of me. So I'm like, it was like real quick, you know, real quick. And the window came down and there's two young males in the front, a, a young lady in the back, and they got a baby with them, you know? So they pull up to me and they're like, Sir, can you please help? Can you please help? I'm like, I'm like, what's the matter? Is everything all right? I, I'm, you know, you know, I'm always willing to help somebody or, or, you know. So they pulled right up to me. And I'm like, what's the matter? So the kid starts taking off his jewelry. He's got like little bullshit chains. You know, if they were real, they probably be worth like 800, 900 dollars, whatever. You know, little bullshit gold chains and rings he has. So he starts taking his, his stuff off, takes his ring off. He hands it to me. I'm like, he's like, I'm like, what? what's going on? They're crying. What's the matter? No, you can't take your shoes off. All right, so when they pull up, they're like, can you help me? Can you help me? And I'm like, listen. What is the matter? Like, what, what could possibly be wrong? So they tell me that they lost their wallet. They don't have no ID. They don't have no money. They're trying to get to Miami. They need gas money. So me, right off the rip, I'm looking to just get, I'm like, what do you need, you know? First of all, Miami's mad far. You got an empty tank of gas. And it's gonna cost you at least, at least $200 in gas money to get home if you don't have nothing, you know? So he tells me he needs $300. So I'm saying to myself, oh, these poor kids, you know, something must have happened. I don't know. It looked, it looked to me like they were really, I'm telling you, Perfect acting. I mean, this this script couldn't have been better, you know? So they're like, take my jewelry, take my phone number. Daddy. What? I want to go on the swings. You could go on the swings. Just wait. I'm doing a video. So so the bottom line is I I. I peel out my money and I'm like, bro, listen, you don't got to give me no jewelry. You don't got to give me nothing. I said, take my number. Take my, they're like, look, we got a baby. We got to go. I mean, it was to the T. Like, if I believe something, like, this is something you cannot run game on me. You can't run game on me. So this is why it's, it's pure comedy. So, I give them, right off the rip, $300. Now, I'm still holding their, their stuff. And I'm saying to myself, you know what? Let me hold on. I said, listen, if you need this back and you get to where you got to go, you call me up. I'll, I'll give it back to you. You just give me my money back. To tell you the truth, I, I would have just gave them the money without nothing. But being that they handed me that and I don't know them, I'm like, all right, I'll hold on to this. So now they have $300. I gave them $300. The kid got it in his hand. They're, they're starting to wipe the tears and they're like, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You know, I got to watch. I'll hold on a minute. So... They pull away a little bit, you know, they pull away just a, a edge up the block, like maybe four or five cars and they pull over. 
Now, I'm like, I'm still walking in that direction. So I got my daughter with me and I'm like, is it all right? Everything's all right. I'm like, I got your number. He locked my number in. I locked, you know, everything was good. So now he's like, wait, sir, sir, can I talk to you? I'm like, what's the matter? He's like, listen, he's like, how much money do you have now? Now me, I'm thinking, I'm like, hold on a minute. I'm like, this is this is going, this is deep enough. Now, he tells the girl in the back, he's like, get the big chain, get the big chain. He's like, I own jewelry store. Now they start saying prayers in like, in like Arabic, some like Muslim prayers, like, and they're, they're saying, thank you, thank you. But now the kid's asking me how much money can I get them and they'll give me more gold like so now I'm like wait a minute you know they could have just drove away they got they had the $300 I said something ain't right here now I got my daughter with me because other than that I would have freaking pulled out a camera right there because now I'm getting skeptical so the kid in the f driver's seat tells the girl, get the big chain, get the big chain. Now he goes in his glove compartment and he pulls out a Rolex. Now, the funny thing is I have this same watch, you know what I mean? And I know the difference between real and fake. Like Rolexes do not put stickers on the back of a fucking watch and it's not clear where you could see all the mechanics going on on a presidential Rolex. What? Here, I'll put you in there. All right, so, there you go. So the bottom line is, they try to get me for more money now. Now, I'm, I'm in, in my head, I'm like, now I, now I know this is a scam, you know what I mean? I'm like, listen, guys, check this out. I said, you had me. You had me. Come on, what's the matter? I'm pushing you. So now they have me. You know what I mean? They got, you know, they got me going now. I'm re I want to record them now. But being that they got the baby, they're young, they're trying to scam on me, whatever. I'm like, listen, guys, I'm like... First of all, you got to you got to sharpen up this story, you know? Cuz the story's not good. I said, "Give me my money back. Take this gold." I said, "You had me. You could have left." Now they're like, "Sir, please, you're not going to help me. You're not going to Now now I know it's a scam and 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 I'm just like, "Wow, people are just People are just crazy. That goes to show you how greedy people are and how crazy this world is. Because he, whatever he handed me was probably bullshit gold. He probably handed me $50 worth of costume jewelry. And I fell for it and gave them the 300 But being that I had, like, a lot of money in my pocket, they probably said to themselves, we could probably get this guy for more money. But... The moral of the story is, yo, you got to watch. You got to be careful because there's people out here that can run game. And it's just pure comedy. Pure comedy. I'm like, I'm still dumbfounded right now as we stand here. Right now, me telling the story like these people are crazy. And the thing is, it was so convincing that... Anybody would have fell for this, you know what I mean? And especially they tried to pull it off on me. That's why I'm sharing it with you. Yo, guys, listen, the t-shirts are in. And I got a few, I got a few, I got a few things, McKnight's Comedy Lounge. I'm going to start giving them away to people out here. But I want to give a few away on the internet, you know. Like I said, I'm not, I'm going to let... The, all right, calm down. I'm, I'm done now. I'm done now. Come on. No, no, no. All right, you want to go higher? All right. But listen, like, comment, 
and I'm gonna let the computer randomly select and I'll pick three people that I'm gonna give a t-shirt and a hoodie to. So yo, you already know, Comedy Lounge. Turn on those notifications cause you never know what's gonna go on next with the Comedy Lounge. We love you. Mwah.